The Oberth effect is really one of the fundamental things to understand about space travel, because it dictates when and where you want to be performing your maneuvers in space. To put it simply, the Oberth effect describes the fact that firing your spacecraft's engines when you're at high speeds is a lot more effective than firing them when you're at low speeds. And as we saw in the previous videos, the fastest point of an orbit is always the periapsis, or the lowest point. So it's right at that point of the orbit that you want to be firing your engines so that the same amount of fuel can give you a bigger change in velocity. Now what this really means is that you want to be exactly midway through your engine burn at the periapsis so that you're distributing your burn time equally on both sides of the periapsis, which maximizes efficiency. In some cases, the spacecraft have very low thrust engines, and they'll prefer to make a series of shorter burns over multiple orbits, converting that same amount of fuel into extra kinetic energy. The Oberth effect works when passing close to any gravitational body, and you'll always want to time your engine burn around the periapsis, whether you want to slow your craft down or speed it up. You can always use the effects of a gravity assist or a slingshot maneuver, which I'll talk about in the next video, in combination with the Oberth effect, to travel even further with less fuel. So that's it for today. Let me know what other orbital mechanics you'd like to have explained in the comments below, and stay tuned for more videos in the series.